hello there welcome back to a new video in this video i'll be showing you how to use boolean blocks more effectively well you can say it's a trick so yeah if you don't know what's a boolean block it's basically the hexagon blocks and they output true or false statements depending on what it's about like touching mouse pointer if the sprite is touching the mouse pointer or a specific key is pressed it will detect and give and true or false output or values like 50 equals 50 will give true 1 equals 50 is of course not true it will give false so that's what booleans are but did you know you can put it into your maths code as well if you didn't know the output of a boolean block when it's output when it outputs true then it outputs the number one and when it outputs false it outputs the number zero now you might be wondering yeah what can you do with this oh you can do a lot but let me just show you add the number zero so you don't add on anything and let's see it gives an output of zero because zero is not equal to 50 and therefore we add it to zero and we can see what it outputs but we have what if we were to put 50 in here it outputs 1 now let me show you an example let's and also it cleans up the code because sometimes your codes get too messy so let me show you what's going on here is if you press the left arrow it will go to the previous costume if we press the right arrow it go to the next costume as you can see the previous costume is just my just by costume number minus one and we will wait until not left arrow key pressed or right arrow key pressed so it's so you can't just spam it so let's see obviously this works also I added an extra sprite of him running it's not the best but that's all I can do that's not the point but it might be a bit too large what do you think about this code works just the same except that's only two lines let me explain what this is so it's the costume number which this will be let's say two costume number is two so if the left arrow key is pressed it will output one make sure yeah this is supposed to be negative one i'll output one and but it's supposed to be negative one so we'll mine multiplied by negative one and right arrow won't be pressed so it will give in total negative one so it's technically this if left arrow key is pressed if the right arrow keys is pressed it will output one and this would output zero as left arrow key is not pressed and it will be at the end costume number plus one so I'll go to the next costume if both keys are pressed this would output negative one this and this would output one and it will output zero so the costume number doesn't change so it's more I guess more effective than this as well well this works the same I'm not sure but yeah so you get the idea you can use this a lot So yeah, 
I use it in my projects nowadays because it is much more simpler to just do this entire code. It might be a bit too long, but it's better than this mess. And it looks, it makes you look more smart on Scratch, to be honest. Because most people don't use Boolean blocks in maths. So yeah, they only use it like this. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. But yeah, guys, that's I, that's all I have for this video. And bye. Wow, you're still watching the video lol. Okay, bye. Have a great time.